Good afternoon and welcome to this week's print21.com.au weekly TV bulletin from me, Wayne Robinson, editor of Print21. Uh, this week we're at uh, Franklin Webb, New South Wales, the massive new $50 million opening, or massive new $50 million plant that's just been officially opened today. Uh, an incredible place. Uh, it's got two huge Man Roland 80-page uh, Lithoman presses pumping out up to 600,000 catalogues an hour. Uh, there's only 34 staff in this whole place on, on the books and only 10 of them in the place at any one time. But to, there was two huge presses, only have three printers operating them, one, on e one for each and one floating between the two. Uh, as well as the two Man Roland presses, it's got a uh, perfect binder, Muller Martini, 15,000 perfect binds an hour and two 25,000 25, uh, uh, stitches, um, also Muller Martini. It's got a lights out Kodak uh, pre-press department pumping out plates, 280,000 square meters per year. Uh, and all the pre-press as well as the scheduling production is all done from down in Victoria. Uh, this is uh, the biggest investment in print for many years across the whole industry, $50 million. $50 million. Uh, it's ju it's just, uh, just opened, just completed. The uh, man in charge is Richard Clark uh, from AIW, which, uh, which I group bought last year along with Franklin Webb. Phil Taylor, who was running Franklin Webb, is now kind of retiring. Oh, he's he's uh, taking a back seat, uh, but this place is uh, up and running now and fully operational and uh, producing catalogues and very long run magazines. Uh, it has a duplication of everything, so uh, in case uh, something goes down, the customers can be assured that there's going to be no less up in the pace. Both these presses, Man Roland presses, run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, non-stop. Uh, the paper is huge, huge great paper supply store in there. Uh, the reel, a reel of paper goes through the press every 23 minutes. Now read all about this story in full on print21.com.au. Also in the news this week, we've got the situation going on in Perth with Picton Press. Uh, the uh, creditors, unsecured creditors, well, they're fuming. The, uh, at the latest creditors meeting, the uh, administrator, Cor Cordis, uh, used his casting vote, or used his chairman's vote, Jeremy Nips, used the chairman's vote to get the deed of company arrangement through the meeting. Uh, the, uh, in terms of people, they, the vote got through because the employees all voted for it. In terms of money, it didn't get through because most people at $2 million or the $2.5 million voted against it. Core Cordis voted to put the DOCA through. So it's going through. The ATO is still uh, taking, uh, looking for a winding up order. Core Cordis is hoping that will be resolved. The big issue will be ongoing will be paper supply. Two of the three merchants that are able to supply have told me personally there's no way they're going to supply. Uh, they're actually among the creditors. So we'll have to see how that pans out. Um, also in this news this week, plenty on print21.com.au. Congratulations to GJS, Greg Stone and his father, 40 years in the business. Uh, that's it for this week's issue from Franklin Webb. Uh, read print21.com.au uh, for all the week's news. This is Wayne Robinson signing off.